Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence, culture scarps trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The Konzo culture at the introductions with neighborities. <laughs> Pursuits. The Bakanjo engage in animal husbandry, rearing goats, sheep, and fowls. This diversified approach to livelihoods not only provides a more comprehensive food supply, but also contributes to the economic resilience of the community. The intricate balance between agriculture and animal husbandry showcases the resourcefulness of the Bakanjo in navigating the challenges of their environment. Butchered is primarily Ivy, skilled hunters, occupying esteemed positions, are indicative of the importance placed on hunting prowess. The use of various instruments, including spears, hunting nets, bows and arrows, and ropes, underscores the resourcefulness and adaptability of the Bakanjo in utilizing their natural surroundings. Organized hunting troops, consisting of up to 30 to 60 people, highlight the communal aspect of Bakanjo society. Rules in the vacation, supplications and sacrifices to Kalisa and Nyabalika before a hunting expedition underscores the spiritual connection between the Bakanjo and their environment. The construction of bamboo stakes to ward off angry spirits further exemplifies the synthesis of tradition and practicality in their hunting rituals. The Bakanjo's unique system of secret communication through whistling, passed down from father to son, and able to hear to their cultishery, to convey messages across considerable distances. The exclusivity of this communication method within the community showcases the preservation of distinct cultural practices that set the Bakanjo apart from neighboring groups. As the Bakanjo embrace modernization and education, certain cultural practices and beliefs are undergoing transformations of certain only the resilience of Sarnoni, the resolution Sarnoni, among the Bakanjo, reflects the complex interplay between preserving cultural heritage and adapting to the evolving dynamics of the world around them. In essence, the Bakanjo people's way of life is a tapestry woven with threads of agriculture animal husbandry, hunting traditions, and unique communication methods. Their adaptability and resilience underscore their ability to navigate the delicate balance between tradition and chain the foothills of the mountains. Gifts from fathers with sons, symbolizing interest in the newborn as a potential daughter, Education and modernization have gradually shifted these traditions, but remnants persist among the Bakanzo, known for their adherence to cultural practices. 
The complexity deepens when a woman gives birth to twins, leading to a unique ceremony, Alhahasa, where the mother can see with her husband's nephew for the well-being of the twins. The Bacchus play integral roles. Kalesa depicted as a monster with unique physical attributes holds significance in the context of hunting, a cherished occupation among the Bakanjo. Nabarika, on the other hand, is believed to possess unparalleled spiritual power, influencing aspects such as healing, fertility, and the success of hunting expeditions. The construction of shrines dedicated to Kalabarika on the slopes of roundings, the elaborate rituals the Bakanjo reflect not only a means of sustenance but a profound cultural practice. The use of spears, nets, bows, and arrows, coupled with the involvement of dogs showcases the sophistication of their hunting techniques. The communal aspect of hunting troops, governed by rules and rituals, emphasizes the collective effort in securing food for the community. The spiritual dimension, including offerings and protect angry spirits, the conjos agri sage algri the cultivation of crops such as matoke, yams, and cassava sustains the community's nutritional needs, while the introduction of cash crops like coffee and cotton reflects adaptation to changing economic landscapes. The coexistence of agriculture and animal husbandry underscores the diversified livelihood strategies adopted by the Bakanjo, provides a glimpse into the social fabric of Bakanjo society. While subsetrified newborn girl have evolved with time, others, such as the emphasis on circumcision as a rite of passage, remain deeply entrenched. The complexities of marriage negotiations, including bride wealth obligations and the rare occurrence of divorce, reveal the importance placed on societal norms and family structures within the Bakanjo culture, contributing to shifts in practices like Ohaisa undoubtedly in Haitianal Kanja culture, contributing yesets, reverence for spiritual beings, and the preservation of unique forms of communication demonstrate the community's commitment to maintaining its cultural heritage, shamits the currents of change. In conclusion, the Bakanjo people present a captivating cultural narrative shaped by the interplay of agriculture, animal husbandry, hunting traditions, spiritual beliefs, and social customs. Their ability to adapt to external influences of preserving core elements of a changing world. Their rich tapestry of traditions remains a testament to the resilience and vitality of this unique community in the mountainous terrain of East Africa. Education and modernization have influenced the decline of certain cultural practices, such as al due to concerns about hip infection. Nonetheless, not all traditions vanish at once among the Bakanzo continue to preserve elements of their rich cultural hood. The Bakanjo in childhood, Kalaisa and Nayabarika, underscores the spiritual aspect of their culture. 
Shrines dedicated to these beings were constructed on the slopes of the Renzori Mountain. Reflecting the importance of hunting and offerings in Bakanjo society, hunting was a central activity, providing both sport and sustenance. Skilled hunters held esteemed positions and organized hunting troops or rituals to ensure success as hunting. Babaik messages during a Agriculturalists, the Bakanjo cultivate crops such as matoke, yams, potatoes, cassava, and beans, supplemented by coffee and cotton cultivation. Goats, sheep, and fowls are also reared, and the community initially relied on subsistence production. Complemented by hunting and fishing on lakes Edward and George, the interplay of tradition, adaptation, and preservation into the cultural life of the Bakanjo people. The Bavilani is talented to get the Bavilani's land, the use of traditional home, their spiritual beliefs. Anchored by the reverence for two supreme beings, Kalisa and Nibarika, serve as a guiding force in both practical and ritualistic aspects of their existence. The construction of shrines dedicated.